What's up, everybody? J7409 here. Uh, I got a couple of things I want to point out to you today about a uh, asteroid I'm doing some research on. Uh, I guess I'm making this video just to see what NASA tells us. Okay? Alright, this is from uh, an astronomer. I wish to point out the new object of 2012 DA14 discovered at La Sagra. I have computed the orbit using three days of arc last night they observed blah blah this was this was old, older okay very close approach February 15th 2013 need more observations please in other words he found it he needs some help we go up here this is the reply nicely spotted I can confirm without error da 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 that distance sigma may look as if a collision is possible on this encounter okay so what we do we go to the uh, JPL And we're going to put it in, and I'm going to show you folks something, okay? Yeah. 2012, DA14. We need to show the orbit diagram. There's today's date. I want to go ahead and come down here. See, it's got a condition code of 6. They're keeping their eyes on it. They just looked at it today, as a matter of fact. And it was discovered on Thursday. This past Thursday, okay? All right, close approach. It's not anything going on in 2012. It's already, like, in a gone bias. But it's next year. Check it out. It's closer than YU-55. Closer than YU-55. So, we're going to come up here. And I'm going to make this bigger so you folks can actually see what's going on here. And we're going to go back to the 15th. And we're going to go up a year. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to change this to hours. Now watch. Watch the AUs. I'd say it's, look, 8.0 E minus 4 AU. 7.0 E minus 4 AU. And it st stays that way for a couple of hours. Then it goes back to 8. Point zero E minus four AU nine takes a while before it even gets back up to this and okay, K to one AU. So let's go back a few. See the sun it, it's staying the same distance from the sun. But not the earth. Alright, let's come down here again. I want you to see this, all right? And we're going to go to another chart. Okay, let's go up here. And let's put in 2012 DA14. Here we go. We want our observation predictions because we can set this up. We're going to change this now to 2013. If it will let us, come on. Here we go. We want this on the 15th. And if you go back to the NASA JPL, you'll see closest approach according to them is 46 minutes past midnight. So let's compute it up. This tells you everything you want to know about it. I'm not going to go into detail. I'm not trying to scare anybody either. And I know how big it is now. It, when they first discovered it, it was really teeny tiny, but they've got better looks at it. It's still not huge or anything, but it is 84M. That's the size of it, okay? Uh, 
Wow. It's gonna do a loop. There's Earth right there. Looks like it's gonna come in, go out, do a loop, and go back out. Let's go back. Just make sure I had everything right in here. 2013, 15th, 046. There you have it. You should be able to see this with binoculars, folks. <laughs> I am serious. It's going to be so close to us. Less uh, in the future. Keep your eye on it. 2012 DA-14. We don't really know what the outcome of this is going to be. Who knows? I still have my thoughts on a YU-55. I was watching that thing so closely and everything just changed in the blink of an eye. I mean, in the blink of an eye. I don't know if they sent something up there to nudge it or what they did with it. And they have NASA, if you go to your uh, risk page, they have put this on there, but it's not a risk for next year. That's another reason that it, it I, I can't help but think they're going to like do something to push it away give them more time not to make a big hoopla out of it maybe nobody even notices this thing but I've noticed it I've caught it I wanted to share it with you okay so my friends you be safe you be blessed keep your eyes on the sky and thanks for watching